Hello everyone, I'm Tsingung Wanda and I'm Kinda Dorji. We are going to present you all our documentary video on the topic Like other advanced nations, our country Bhutan has also a very unknown person who is fond of creating a robot. Every one of you must be wondering who the person could be. So this video will let you all know who is he, where does he stay and where is he from. Hi everyone, this is Sugen Dendo, founder of Bhutan Tech Force. I'm currently studying in 12th grade. I'm 20 years old and I'm from Chukka. You will come to know about his history, his journey, challenges, opportunity, wishes and success. By now, you all might have got some information regarding Ugandendo, Bhutanese robotic engineer through earlier introduction. To talk about the history of Ugandendo, he was actually grew up playing electronic motors and wires. And he was so fascinated by the electronic components and whereby he tried to extract new ideas, new robots and redesign the cars by himself. By the age of seven, he, he started exploring more robotic language, programming language of the robotic. Behind failing for several times, he kept on trying to let the success come. By the age of 12, he could redesign the toy car by adding new features on the car. The main journey of Udindendu was started in the year since 2017 when he was studying at Pelke High Secondary School in the 11th grade. He got to visit Fab Lab with the support of his parent to experience an advanced electronic company. After he visiting the Fab Lab, he becomes more familiar with programming language of robot and an advanced electronic components. After visiting the Fab Lab, he also realized that it is difficult to come up with new models as lack of new technology in our country. Knowing the, all those difficulties in technology, he didn't give up so easily. Rather, he constantly come up with a new model which is his own creation. He visited the Fab Lab with the uh, dream of building a motor rocket. But after reaching there and uh, like exploring, with, uh, explore, exploring the lab and uh, getting in touch with a lot of advanced equipments and getting experience in uh, uh, the new electronic components I end up learning a lot of electronic uh, electronic about electronic uh, components and programming language and then I started building my own uh, robot and then <clears throat> I was introduced uh, first time with the robot uh, with the robotics in uh, Fab Lab and then uh, I keep on visiting uh, I've, I've keep on visiting of lab during my vacation and I, I used to spend almost all my vacation out there with According to Ugen Dendu, the failure challenges that he faced is the lesser number of sponsors which hampers him in acquiring those electronic components and as a developing country it is difficult to get the advanced technology at the same time it is difficult to get the advanced electronic component as a as developing countries even if they have the mind of coming up with the new models all those challenges lies them behind and the major challenges that he faced is regarding the time management being a high school student he faces lots of difficulties in time management so in that case he is not able to dedicate his full time in creating robots in the project is the like a uh, shortage of uh, funds and uh, it's really hard for us to get funds but uh, still then there are a few companies and uh, supporters, uh, individual supporters, and uh, an organization that still uh, keep on supporting us in uh, like in various fields. He also faced a lot of professional challenge, like uh, as we all are high school students, and we lack of, we lack a lot of uh, 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 like skills. But uh, like we we are trying to learn it, and uh, we are trying to experience new things. By sacrificing so many times for his profession, he got so many opportunities as a result of his hard work.
he got opportunities to challenge in international robotic competition in the year of 2019 in Mexico. He also got an opportunity to share his views and learn so many more knowledge regarding the programming language of robotic. He also took part in World Robot Game in 2019, which is held in Thailand. From there, he secured first position from many others. His only wishes is that if there could be more number of supporters, especially in terms of financial, that will help him in acquiring of electronic components that are needed in creating electronic models. He also said that he had a dream of building rocket and satellite for our nation. Suddenly, when the COVID-19 hit our government that day and seeing the sacrifice made by our king, he decided to provide something useful out of robot to our government that would help in avoiding the interaction among people and the spread of COVID-19. Quote-unquote, opportunities don't come you created by Chris Grosser. With all due to his hard work and having full faith and trust within himself, he constantly carries out building new models now and then, thinking there is final destination for all his hardship dedication. In the year 2019, he won the award of robotic performance in the Thailand. He also formed Bhutan Tech Force, which is his great mission to help youth like himself. And the very impressive thing is that as he wished he could provide a useful robot to our government that has the facility to sanitize, collect waste and foodings. He has spent use of 10,000 and duration of almost one week for creating this robot image. And in 2018, I was lucky enough to be selected among the uh, five members of Bhutan's first ever uh, national robotic teams, which is going to represent Bhutan in uh, first global challenge, uh, which is international robotic competition in Mexico City. After reaching there, after reaching an international competition, I get to meet a lot of new tech savvy uh, individuals around, from around the world, and we got the chance to share our experience and knowledge. And <clears throat> Uh, uh, from there, uh, we 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 had we had a great uh, uh, performance in the in the competition, and we got a great result from there. And after returning back from the international competition, uh, I start keep uh, I keep on working on uh, robotics, and and then I, I thought of uh, forming a new uh, robotic team of so that I can share my experience and we can like uh, we can do a lot of. Uh, a great project within our uh, within the students of Bhutan. So I, I formed Bhutan Tech Force on 2000 by the end of 2018. From the day of uh, forming Bhutan Tech Force, uh, we, st we started uh, collecting some funds uh, from the various company, organization, and uh, ministry. And then <clears throat> uh, we started to represent Bhutan in several international competitions like uh, World War Game 20, uh, 2019 in Thailand and uh, Yantra. 7.0 international robotic competition in Nepal and and, and also Yantra 8.0 international competition in 2020 and we have also won the Bhutan's first ever uh, uh, robotic performance uh, performance award in uh, World Robot Game in 2019. Uh, now Bhutan Tech Force is uh, working on a new space project called uh, Project Ozone but uh, on the other side we have also have to study and we, we are students so uh, we were not able to uh, like uh, uh, spend more time on doing research and all, but like we are trying to like uh, balance this balance between like our our project and and, and the study. We are constantly uh, and and we are constantly pushing our uh, limit of comfort zone, and uh, we are we are taking risks and we are trying to be bold so that we can start uh, start a new project. We can see that a lot of technology, new technology is coming up around the world, and we also think that. Uh, we can also do something that is not possible before. So we all know that if we work together, we can change humanity, but not only humanity, we can also change the future of nation. Oh, so sorry for taking your time. I forgot to introduce the name of the machine that Ogin Dendok has come up with. And the name of the machine is Monda. 
M O E N L H A Monda. time when maintaining physical distance has become crucial, robots can play an important role in freeing up medical staff at hospitals and limiting the possibility of the virus spread. With this in mind, a group of high school students in the country have built a robot that can deliver food and medicine and also collect waste and isolation facilities. This, they say, can greatly help health workers reduce contact with patients. Weighing around 20 kilograms, this delivery robot was built by six young technology enthusiasts. It took them less than a week to build the robot, costing them around 10,000 newton. The boys are students of Pelkil School, Karma Academy and Jampaling Central School and have taken up the responsibility to contribute at this time of the pandemic by doing what they do best, robotics. As we went through news, we were like inspired by different people contributing for the nation in this fight against coronavirus. So we also badly wanted to do something. And after the national address given by His Majesty, we were like, our motivation was fueled more. They were motivated to take on this endeavor after watching how tedious it is for health workers and caregivers to attend to those in isolation wards. We want to like substitute the simple things like health workers have to do. They have to dress so heavily, so it's time consuming for them. So rather than them dressing and doing all like wearing all the protective gears, we could just simply send this robot and the health workers could spend that time on other important stuffs. They say the robot can be controlled by anyone with some basic training and can be used easily for the delivery. The robot has some interesting features such as an automatic hand sanitizer dispenser and a waste collector. We have actually divided our bot in four different parts. First one is drive and second one is to carry food and the third one is to collect waste. And fourth, lastly, the fourth one is uh, automatic hand sanitizer dispenser. With support from DHI, the group has been temporarily given an office space at Thimpu Tech Park to work on the robot. The boys aren't sure if their delivery robot will be used in reality, but for now, their passion and enthusiasm are an indication that impossibility is just a word. Sunam Pem for BBS News. So lastly, thank you for watching our documentary video on the topic, the golden age.